I'm going to start by taking my scraper and scraping down this top, see what I got to work with. It all came off relatively easy, and I'll just go back through with the light sanding to get it all smoothed out. Now here I'm just adding another board to the back of these legs to get a thicker look and then I'm going to take a little bit of wood filler bondo and fill in the crevices to make them look like a solid piece.
So I'm going to start off with a black base coat, and then I will start adding my metal colors on top of all of those. And then after that, I will go through and start airbrushing everything to give it kind of a realistic, uh, aged, greasy look. These are just metal colors, copper, aluminum, silver, out of a spray can. I just spray a little bit on a board and then use a brush to paint it on. Now I'm just going to go through and do a little bit of dry brushing. It's what it sounds like. You just put enough paint on the brush so that it's almost dry and it just catches all the high surfaces and gives it kind of that metal shine. Now I'm going through with a rust color, adding in all the background rust, and then I will go through with a black and add the detailing on top of that. Mix a little bit of orange and yellow color in with some water, and I'll take it here in just a second. I just spray it on the piece and let it run down and dry. It adds a little bit more of that realistic rust. Uh, it's got wet and kind of caused a rust water run down the side. I'm going to go around the edge of the top and add recessed holes so I can put big chunky bolts in it so that it looks like it's all bolted together. I love the look of these black bolts on top of the dark wood stain. As you've seen, some of the pipes I get from my neighbor that's a plumber, it's already aged, they look amazing. I had to use some new pipes on this piece as well, so I'm just going through with the transparent dark brown to add a little bit of aging to the copper, and then I'll go back through with a black to add a little bit of shading, make it look dingy and greasy. Um, after that, you'll see me just real quickly hit it with a spray can satin clear coat, just kind of seal all that paint in and give it some protection. How freaking cool did this come out? 
I had no idea when I started what I was going to end up with. It took a little over three weeks to build this piece. It wasn't three weeks of nonstop work. It was kind of doing a little bit and then giving it time, letting ideas come to me for the next thing I want to do. I would kind of put a piece on, then stand back and look at it and kind of come up with what I thought would would add more character to it and it just progressively turned into what you see now. So because the builds are getting a little bit longer, of course the videos are taking a little bit longer to come out, so I appreciate y'all being patient with me and I will try to get more videos out. Uh, the next few builds are going to be normal builds, so I should be able to get a few videos out pretty quick over the next month. I am thinking about putting this piece on eBay next week, may post this up on eBay to bid or purchase, so if you're interested in that, um, come back next week and I'll have the link in the description below. Um, let your friends know if you're interested in shipping whenever you purchase it, I just use UShip. Um, I will put a link to that in the eBay description as well. You can pretty much just put in the measurements, weight, and the address and it will give you an estimated price on shipping, so if you're concerned about shipping we can get that covered too. So I want to tell y'all thank you for watching and being patient. See you on the next one.